Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Keystone Springdale 303BH. This is a great family camper. You have a big super slide with the sofa as well as the dinette and you have a great sleeping space in the back that works perfectly for both children or if you have adult guests that are staying the night, you can accommodate them as well. We'll start off here in the kitchen. One of the things you'll notice is the seamless countertops. That way you don't have any tea mold that pops off. It's a much better look and it also allows you to undermount the sink. That way you can have the sink top covered giving you all that extra prep space. You can use the bottom side of this for a cutting board as well. Very large cutting board there. And when we take it off, you will notice the large uh, undermount uh, sink there. It is a single bowl, so that way you can put some larger residential size pots and pans. You can wash those nice and easily, especially with the high-rise faucet. Over to this side is a three burner cooktop. Again, this is recessed with the glass cover, so you can utilize this as prep space as well. You will notice the decorative backsplash here behind it, but the glass also does fold up, creating a second backsplash and giving you access to your burners. The knobs do light up, and there's an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. You'll notice storage underneath the sink. Open that up for you so you can see there is enough space there for a trash can. A drawer right around to the side, a larger drawer right over here, as well as additional storage right by the entryway. You have storage up top. Right next to that is your microwave, your uh, hood underneath with a light and a fan, LED lights, of course, throughout, both in the kitchen as well as on the ceiling of the camper. And when we open up the fridge freezer combo, you will notice plenty of space here. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over and additional storage right up top. You will also notice this one has a barreled ceiling. You have fully ducted AC in the ceiling. You also have ducted heating in the floor. Making our way back, thermostat right here. I talked about the AC and the heat. Both of those will be controlled off of this thermostat. And this one has a secondary entrance right here into the bathroom. So what I like about this is that if anyone needs to use the restroom, they can just come right in, do their business, and head right back out. They're not bringing dirt throughout the entire RV. As far as space, I do rub a little bit on the left side. Obviously plenty on the right, plenty of leg room here too. You will see the sink. It is a fairly large sink, so that way as you're washing your hands or brushing your teeth, you're not having water splash everywhere. Uh, you have the electrical outlet right above that, mirrored medicine cabinet up top, plumbing access down below, and I'll take a step here in the shower just to give you an idea. So I am six foot tall. As you can see, I'm you know basically hitting right here on the very edge, but you have the skylight. So even if you're you know six two, you can probably still shower in here without bending down. You have a hand wand there to make showering up a little bit easier and a shelf over to the side. In the back of the 303 is the bunkhouse. There is a pocket door, so that way there's a little bit of privacy back here at night, which is great because if the kids need to go to bed before you, you can shut the door, you can still stay up, hang out with friends and family, and the kids are able to get well rested. You'll see over here in the slide, the top bunk has a 300 pound weight capacity, teddy bear bunk series, it's nice and soft. Fairly thick mattress there too compared to some, so that way the kids will have a comfortable night's sleep. Right underneath that are the tube cube style sofas. Both of those do fold out. And the nice thing about that is if you have some older children, it creates a bigger bed. Or again, if you have adults, you can have adults sleep there. Uh, light on both the bottom as well as the top bunk. Over on the other side is a third bunk. Again, 300 pound weight capacity on this one as well. There is a ladder built in so you can easily climb up there and bring it out just like so. You'll see storage right over to this side. This is actually uh, deceptively deep. If you take a look, it's uh, a lot deeper than most people think, which is great because you know, you're gonna need a place to put the kids' clothes and that gives you a spot right there. If you want a TV back the here, this is where you'll hook it up at. You will see the connections and then you have a big space there to mount it. Making our way back out into the main living area. You'll notice here right outside the bunk room, you have some additional storage. So if you want, you can use this as pantry space, or if you want to use it as a linen closet, it'll work very well for that too. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you have this super slide, large dinette here. Now I'll take a seat to show you. As you can see, you easily have enough space for four people. You know, if you have a couple smaller children, you may be able to fit three on each side. 
Uh, but if you have four adults, you can comfortably sit here, eat a meal together, play a game together, no problem. Also, the table does drop down into a bed to give you some additional sleeping space. You'll see large windows above both the dinette and the sofa. There isn't any storage in the slide, which is fine because, they, again, you have those larger windows to let in some natural light. USB port if you need to charge electronic devices as well as a switch for the accent lighting. Uh, that, those lights are located underneath the dinette. Right over to this side is your sofa. It's a jackknife style sofa. Uh, say leatherette here too. Pretty comfortable to sit on. The thing I like about it is it has built-in armrests on both sides and they're actually at a decent height. Sometimes with the, the sofas, the armrests will be really low and even though you know, they look nice, they're not very functional. That's not the case here. It's right about where I would want it. Also, if you want to turn it into like a uh, pseudo theater seating, you have the, another drop down armrest right here with some cup holders. Otherwise, I mentioned you have the full sofa and it is a jackknife, so you have all the storage underneath. Plus, this does drop down into a smaller bed too. For the TV, this is where your TV will go. You will notice your RCA cables here. Those will plug right into the back of the TV. Those are connected to your multimedia center right here, which is a DVD player. It does control the speakers on either side as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. You'll notice the storage right down below, storage all the way across the top with the glass honeycomb pattern on there. Coat hooks right next to the entryway so you can come in and hang your jacket up. You have a bench seat and storage underneath for your shoes. The bedroom has a queen bed right in the center and on both sides you will find a nightstand. The one side there as you can see has a laundry chute. So you just put your clothes basket right there in the pass through, throw all your dirty clothes down there so that way they're not cluttering up your bedroom. Right up above is a mirrored wardrobe with a hanging rod as well as a shelf going across in between the two. Electrical outlets on both sides, and if you want TV, this is where you will mount it. The appropriate connections are right up on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Springdale 303BH. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it easier to hook up and disconnect to your tow vehicle because all you have to do is flip the rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see a light on the outside for added visibility at night. Right behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover, and a little bit further back are your rails for your battery as well as solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired, and it will trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front is diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And coming around to the side is the pass-through storage. So as I mentioned previously, this right here is where that laundry chute will be, but you'll see it is a pretty big pass-through storage area, a little bit smaller door on the other side, but still plenty of room for some of your larger items, and there's a light in there so you can see what's in there at night. Power awning on this RV, just touch a button to roll it out, same thing to have it go right back in, and you have an LED light strip that is sewn into the awning material itself. That way it doesn't matter if the awning is fully rolled up, partially extended, or fully extended, you can still utilize those LED lights. You'll also see the two outside speakers. As I mentioned, we were inside. Those are connected to that multimedia center in there, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. Two entrances into this travel trailer. The main entrance being right here, three foldable steps and a grab handle for some added control. This one leads right into that kitchen area. The back one I'll show you in a little bit is the one that leads into the bathroom. If you want an outside TV, this is where you would mount it at. You have your cable outlet as well as your electrical outlet located right underneath it. A couple steps further back, black tank flush. That way you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out the black tank. You just hook it up right there. You also will see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Again, this is that secondary entrance, three foldable steps and a grab handle that leads directly into the restroom. A little bit further back is a spray port. Now I know you have the outside shower uh, fairly nearby, but if you have the steps extended all the time, it is kind of a pain to walk around to have to get to that if you're back here cooking. So I do like the fact that they added the spray port back here too. This is your two burner cooktop. If you want to do some cooking, that's where you will do it at. You also have the pull out prep station. 
not huge, but it gives you a little something. And underneath is your propane quick connect for that two burner cooktop, or if you have a grill that you wanna hook up, you will plug that the, into that as well. Uh, coming back up a little bit, you will notice the big cubby hole, great storage area if you want like an outside bar. This is a, a great spot to be able to put some of those bottles. More storage right up top. The larger style refrigerator, so that way you can have more beverages, condiments, and anything else you want to put out here. Coming around to the side, square tubular bumper. It does come with end caps, that way you can put those in so it's a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. You will see the fully enclosed and insulated underbelly there, help keep out that road grime, as well as hopefully help deter some rodents in the off season and keep things a little bit warmer in a cold climate. You'll also notice the spare tire is mounted to the bumper. Hopefully you never need to get at this, but if you do, it is very easy to access. You don't have to crawl underneath the camp or anything like that. Right up top, you will also notice this one has backup camera prep. So if you do want backup camera, having the prep there makes it easier to install. Right up front on the off door side are your two water hookups. If you need to fill your fresh water tank, you'll use this one right in the front. If you have city water, it'll be right behind that. Also a little bit further back in between the two slides is where your 30 amp uh, power cord will attach to. And you also will notice your termination right behind the rear axle with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Springdale 303BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.